When TVS brought in the RR310 back in 2017, it took the market by storm. While it did have a few niggles here and there, the motorcycle orders with its pricing, its handling and its performance. But it also made way for the possibility of a naked version called the Apache RTR310. Now, the motorcycle should have debuted way earlier, but the reason for the delay could be the deal between TVS and BMW so that there is no overlapping of the models and in this case it would be the G310R. And now that BMW has a fully fared motorcycle in its range, the Street Fighter form TVS is due. Hello and welcome to Bike Wale, I am Neil and as always we have some exclusive details and this time it is about the TVS Apache RTR310. Stay tuned because we will be telling you everything that you need to know about this motorcycle and also its launch date, which is sooner than you expect. When it comes to styling, we can expect TVS to stay true to the styling of the Draken concept that was unveiled in 2014. Now, the current gen of Apache do bear resemblance to that concept, although the RTR310 could be even more aggressive and closer to the design of that concept. Think of something like the Ducati 848 Street Fighter, which also seemed to be the inspiration for the Draken concept. So you can expect full LED lighting for the headlamp, turn indicators and tail lamp and also some swanky color options. Will there be a build to order version like the RR310? Well, only time will tell, but it is surely likely and it would be a unique concept for this segment. Now, the engine on the RTR310 will be the same as the one on the RR310. So, this 312cc single-cylinder motor is expected to churn out 33.5 bhp and 27.3 nm of torque. Although, TVS is expected to change the state of tune on the RTR310 and offer low to mid-range grunt instead of the higher top speed that the RR310 focuses on. The RTR310 will also get a different mapping and sprocketing and our sources say that the top speed on the motorcycle will be 158 km per hour. The RTR310 is also expected to use the same suspension and braking hardware as the RR310. But this suspension setup will be tweaked for city use and is expected to be more pliant than the one on the RR310. That said, the RTR is also likely to get the same Michelin Road Fi tyres as its fully fed sibling. When it comes to the list of features, the RTR310 will come with almost the same list as the RR310 and that motorcycle is loaded to the brim. So we are likely to see various riding modes that alter the throttle response, the ABS intrusion and speed as well. And unlike the RR310's vertical instrument cluster, the RTR310 will get a horizontal TFT screen that is also Bluetooth enabled. The Apache RTR310 will be positioned below its fully fed sibling that will cost you Rs 2.65 lakh ex showroom. Now we expect it to be priced around 2.50 lakh ex showroom which will make it considerably more cheaper than the BMW G310R that costs 2.80 lakh ex showroom. Moreover, the TVS version is expected to get much more features than the G310R. But that's the premium you have to pay for the propeller badge experience, I suppose. As for its alternatives, the TVS RTR310 will compete against the KTM 390 Duke, the 250 Duke as well as the Honda CB300R. Now for all the spicy details, you wouldn't have to wait long for the Apache RTR310 because the motorcycle is expected to be launched by the end of this month. It would make an appearance later on at the TVS Motorsoul that is scheduled for the 3rd of March. Now we will be riding the TVS Apache RTR310 very soon and we will be getting you a detailed review of the motorcycle. So make sure you subscribe to the Bike Wale channel and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on that review or any other update from Bike Wale. Until next time.